Hi, Miss Kathan. So yesterday we looked at some beyond the text questions, and today we're going to do the same thing. So let's go ahead and take a look at the questions that we're going to be looking at today. Great. Here they are. All right, so I'm noticing these are still beyond the text, which means I can't find the answer. I can't just look in the book and there's my answer. I have to actually do some of my own thinking. Um, so the first one, what was an author's craft move from the story and why did the author include it? So remember guys, author's craft is just anything special that the author does and what, whatever you notice, like, wow, that was cool that the author did that. That would be your answer. Mm -hmm. What is one thing you would change from the story? So this kind of reminds me of that opinion writing you've been doing. It's your opinion. What is something that you think would, you would make? different in the book to make it even better and then the last one oh there's that word that we've talked about what is the genre mm. of this book in I know Miss Capen tells her class a lot of times genre is where you would put it in your classroom library and we talk about is it fiction or non-fiction and thinking about how we would put that book in a category but not only that but how do you know it which is super important too so today we're going to look at this book, Poodle and Hound, and it's on Epic 2, but we're only going to look at the first chapter of Poodle and Hound. Miss Sipes, why don't you go ahead and start reading first chapter, Poodle and Hound. Perfect. Miss Kamen, do you want me to read both pages? Just or read two? the first side. <laughs> One day, Poodle decided to have her fur done. I am going to the beauty salon, Hound, she announced. I will be back later. Hound did not look up from his newspaper. At the beauty salon, Poodle had her fur trimmed into pom-poms. A stunning fur ball stood on the very tip top of her head. She looked at herself in the mirror and said, lovely. Poodle thought her feet and ears looked particularly fetching. Elegant, she said with a sigh. Then she thought, all this beauty will be wasted on Hound. So Poodle trotted downtown to the Ritz for tea. Poodle insisted on having a table by the window. She wanted to be admired from both the outside and inside of the restaurant. Poodle ordered tea and a plate of cookies. Ooh, yummy, she exclaimed after she bit into the first cookie. The two corgis at the next table looked at her in alarm. Oh dear, Poodle thought. They must think I'm crazy talking to myself. So she sat up straight and proper and quietly ate her cookies and sipped her tea. I wonder if anyone is looking at me, Poodle asked herself. Are they admiring my pom-poms? She looked around slyly. Everyone was busy talking. Poodle kept eating. She began to think about Hound. Hound would love the, ch the chocolate cookies, she said aloud. The two corgis looked at her again. Oh, I'm sorry, I... Poodle began to apologize, but then she stopped. Why was she apologizing to them? Why couldn't she sit here with her bows and pom-poms and talk out loud if she wanted? She could sing out loud if she wanted. By gum. So Poodle did just that. She hummed a soft little tune about Hound. I'm so sorry Hound's not here. He would add a bit of cheer. He's not exactly pretty, but he's sure not dumb. Life without him is especially glum. Then she added with a little moan, I feel so alone. I must not trot along home. So she did. Poodle, Hound exclaimed as she came through the door. You look lovely. He put down his newspaper. Really, Hound? Those bows, those pom-poms, your adorable ears, and that bit of fluff on your paws. Oh, Hound, I thought you would not notice. Poodle was shocked. Nothing is ever wasted on a friend, Poodle, Hound said wisely. Oh, Hound, I saved a cookie just for you. Let us have tea. All right, that's the end of that chapter. You're going to go ahead and answer some questions on that Google form. form. And like Miss I said, you're going to have to really think and use your head about those questions, okay? Have fun. Bye, friends. Bye.
ay 